My name is John Cho. I'm a prosthodontist from Canberra in Australia, and it's my great pleasure to bring you this presentation as part of the ITI's online World Symposium in 2021. I'd like to start today's presentation with a seemingly small and perhaps seemingly insignificant case of a small amount of porcelain which has chipped off this cervical area of this implant supported crown. And you can see it's exposed some of the rough underlying metal framework, which corresponds to a small dehiscence or a cleft in the patient's tissue in this site. Now this is caused by this rough surface, which has acted as an attractive area for plaque to accumulate and thus induce a inflammatory host response. Now this of course is not a particularly uh, debilitating um, outcome for this patient, it's readily rectified. And the outcome is again, not particularly debilitating in this case. However, some of the larger spaces that we might leave behind, such as open margins like this one, or a small overhang on the other side, can induce some much larger effects in the peri-implant tissues, resulting in some more significant biological problems for our patients around their implants. In this case, the space between the prosthesis and the underlying implant is somewhat larger and more noticeable. And as a result of this space, it's resulted in loss of this patient's implant. Now, this is what I like to call a cyclical problem in that this relatively perhaps benign prosthetic problem has led to a significant biological problem, which in turn has led to a much more significant prosthetic problem 